Hi everybody, Father Bill Holsinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. And um, today's a, not a good day. Today's a sad day in the Archdiocese. This is, I'm recording this on Thursday. This morning, and you may already know this from the news, but this morning uh, around 1.30 or 2.30, uh, the Church of St. Joseph in Salem, one of the largest parishes, was set ablaze. And uh, it was a four-alarm um, fire. Uh, the pastor, Father Jeff Mewson, just being there barely three months, brand new pastor, now has no church to gather his huge community with. They have a lot of masses in that church. Uh, here at Holy Trinity, we have four. They have, it's, it's a lot. I don't know the number. I haven't looked at it recently. But um, it turns out they now have somebody in custody. Again, you may already know all this information. A person of interest. So he's been detained. And uh, so it looks like there was a fire that was uh, set in the dumpster next to the church, which then spread to the church. Uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of water damage, a lot of smoke damage. And uh, tough stuff. And waking up this morning to that information was very difficult. Um, I know Father Jeff, and you may know lots of people that go to the St. Joseph in Salem. It's, again, it's the, the number two church in Oregon as far as the number of prisoners. And then because the church holds maybe a thousand, they still need more space. And that's why they have so many masses as well as they have multiple languages going on there. So there's a lot of people displaced coming this weekend. And I'd ask that you join me in prayer for them. Uh, there is a, f uh, a fund that the uh, Archdiocese is promoting for people to consider helping out, whatever the needs might be. Again, everything's so new. Uh, who knows? I don't know what they are. Um, when you look at the pictures, uh, for me, I see, you know, some of the church looks like it's in okay shape, uh, but I don't know. I was talking to some other person that uh, was sharing that they were just then. This is around, what, it's almost 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock here now. But earlier in the day at 3 o'clock, they were actually doing a study on this, uh, the structure to see if it was actually going to be um, able to be re rebuilt or if it would be completely unsound and need to be demolished. And that's how serious it was because there's water damage along with smoke and fire damage. Uh, this is shocking to us. And, and I'm here in our church just thinking, well, thank God we have a church. Uh, it makes me more grateful for being part of a church church. Uh, a place to go to to celebrate the sacraments, to repent of our sins, to worship with God in our community, uh, worship God with our community. Um, and now uh, the folks at St. Joseph don't have that. So I want to encourage you to pray for them. Today's a great day. I woke up kind of drizzling and raining all day long and uh, kind of a great day for for joy in our lives. But remember, we can rebuild. And this is something, it's just a building when in, in one sense, right? Uh, the church is also people, and thank God nobody was hurt. So pray for them. Uh, as we pray this weekend, we'll be putting them in our prayers of the faithful. We put it on our reader board to pray for the community. Yeah, I can only imagine what it's like. Uh, generations of people have gone, not just to Mass at St. Joseph, but to that particular building, and it has uh, a character about it, uh, a sense of home for all those people that go there as it is for us in our home parish that we find here is our home where we go to church that's where we kind of let go with our hearts and let god work on our hearts so it's it's precious space it's holy ground uh now it's for a lot of the case there it's what it's wet ground and it's burnt ground but uh father jeff Mewson, the pastor yeah, he said it quite well and i'm kind of summarizing you can read there watch the video but he, he knows Salem to be a, a generous people, uh, and that parish particularly, St. Joseph, to be a very generous people. And now they'll just have to demonstrate that once again, how generous they are. This is not the first fire that has taken out their church. Uh, I don't know the whole history. He was mentioning this. There was one many years ago, many, many years ago. Uh, but uh, what was built could be, be rebuilt. And uh, hopefully this will be an opportunity for everybody, us included, to really think about what's most important keep our priorities in line, but also to recognize how precious our churches are that we have, the buildings that we have. But even more than that, those buildings, while important, are not as important as Jesus in our life and ourselves, who are the temples, more precious than a brick building or a wood building. That God loves us. He will never abandon us. And even during these difficult times where we mourn the loss of a structure, a place for people that they call home, 
has been pretty much decimated. Oh, we pray for rebuilding, whether they rebuild completely from scratch or are able to repair what's there, uh, they will rebuild. So have confidence in this difficult time. And folks, if you are from St. Joseph uh, Catholic Church in, in Salem there, know of our prayers, know of our care and our, our empathy and sympathy uh, for many of you go here and we have gone there. And we are one Catholic Church, one holy Catholic Church. We at the Archdiocese of Portland. And I want to thank the Archbishop for uh, making the effort to go down there to see and other priests, I know Father Sean Weeks uh, went down there really quick to see what was going on. He's a good friend of Father Jeff's. So whomever you know, reach out to them and to comfort them. This is important. Let them know of your love and care. And this is what we call accompaniment, right? We may not be able to ourselves physically rebuild the, the, their church. They'll have to do that. But we can let them know how we care and encourage them. Folks, this weekend, pray for them. And I'll see you this weekend. Father Anthony's doing the homily. Uh, and I will be mixing up the masses. And I look forward to saying hello and being with you all. God bless you. And St. Joseph, pray for us. Amen.